Right oh now I'm going to show you how to make a uh, a brim or whiting uh, popper surface fly. This uh, one is really simple to make. Um, caught heaps of fish on this one just over the shallow flat so um, we'll get into it and show you how it's done. I reckon I could make this one pretty quick so we'll see how we go. So I've put the thread on the hook. I've got a long shank. Really light gauge. I think it's a gamma gat too. And I've cut another piece of foam, put a hole through the middle with a, this is metal skewer. Uh, and I've made it so it slides over that like that. So we'll just put that aside and we'll get some body material. I'm just going to use a bit of, um, bit of this uh, marabou just for the tail. Uh, I'm going to grab a bit of a longer piece here. So we've got to make a bit more of a longer, longer body. So what I do is pull off the, um, just pull off a bit like that, hold in your in your fingers, and you want to get it, you know, you want to make that fly probably, probably same size as the hook, pretty much, or a bit shorter. So we just hold that down, we move our thread back, and we go over that and work our way down. So then you got your you got your tail there. These look like a little shrimp taking off or something similar. And just a little fish. I'll just put a bit more material in that body there. We put pretty much about the same again. This, this uh, marabou gets really good movement in the water. Let's move that back. Normally it's a bit longer. You just hold it where you want it and then trim it. And this is a bit short, so I've got to go a bit further back on the hook. It's all practice and getting it how you want it and the length and everything. But I'll do that and then I just sort of push down over the hook, put the thread over it, try and get that nice tail there. Then you can put maybe like a bit of flash or something. I might use this. I've got a bit of a this metal thread I can just open up when it's finished, or I can put it down the side like that. It gives it a bit of a lateral line. Might even go with that, eh? It looks pretty good. They're pretty simple. You can make them up as you go. A lot of flies, but um, there's a lot of patterns that you can do. Let's just put that in there. I think might put that over the, the back more. It might look better. So just put that in there like that. Trim her off. This is a really simple fly. Bring your thread thread back. I'll go all the way back up to the eye of the hook there. Put a bit of a bit of shape on there that just makes the head stick on a bit better when I finish plenty of thread on the back back to the front and then all I do now is just tie that off very very simple fly got plenty of good whiting and stuff on this as well so done that trim that off Bit more super glue and get that to work. Right here, put that on there. Plenty of glue. Get this this head I've made. We'll just push that back over the hook and all the way back to the body there. Spin it around, get it how you want it. Just want that eye of the hook just coming out. As this pushes on, it sort of cups the face of the, the fly as well. And that's pretty much it. Stick a few eyes on there. I don't think I've got any here. Oh, yeah, I've got a couple here. I'll throw them on and show you show what it looks like. Let's go these little ones a bit bigger. Get some eyes. Normally you super glue them on. Stay on a bit longer, but I'll just do it for a bit of an example. So that's um, how the fly comes out. You can see that there. Very simple fly. Works good. And there you go. Thanks for watching.